Tomeski with iVision TV Zip Talk here in Hollywood, California. And with me are filmmakers Bayou Bennett and Daniel Lear. These are a husband and wife team. They are amazing. They do everything from feature films to shorts, commercials, documentaries. We want to know, I want to know about, you've got, like, what, what inspired you guys? What made you get into filmmaking? Um, well, I, I guess basically I wanted to change the world and I felt like I could reach uh, bigger numbers of people through filmmaking. Awesome. And what about you? Yeah, totally. Like, we just want to make films that people really identify with, just like those classic films that we all loved when we were growing up and meant so much to us. We want to do the same thing. We want people to be sucked up into the world of the movie and the characters and identify and walk away and just be like, yeah, you know, I can reach what I want to do in life or I, want, I can be that character or, you know, just to really entertaining but at the same time enlighten them, you know? Yeah, I have, like, longevity to keep going on so people will watch them when, like, we're watching the 80s now but somebody's going to be calling us the 2000s or whatever. <laughs> That'd be cool. Great. Right. And like now they do, but it came out. It's called Text Me. It's a short film. It's a comedy. I saw it. It's awesome. And you guys got a lot of rewards. It was shown in Times Square. Tell us just a little bit about that, where we can see it. Sure. Yeah. We actually got um, into 15 different film festivals. We got uh, three Best Comedy Awards. We got to show it in Times Square on the big screen for four days. And yeah, that was exciting. And um, Motorola phones, which was great too. And um, who were. Yeah, we got, you know, voted for honors by the head of acquisitions at Fox Searchlight and, you know, a very important producer at DreamWorks Animation and just New Regency Films and, you know, producers of Moulin Rouge and just awesome. It was a huge recognition, which was awesome. All this on the, the, the short film text, I mean, how long did it take you guys to shoot that? That was a quick process. So yeah, we just got inspired and just sat down and wrote it and then um, got Matt Bennett who was on Victorious, uh, the Nickelodeon Victorious and and then uh, it was a great experience. It was very quick. Cool. And where can we see that? Dolcefilms.com? That's your website, right? Yeah, Dolcefilms.com is our website and um, that's where you can see a lot of our films, commercials and our feature length. And Textmefilm.com is where you can see the, the short film and you can purchase it at IndieFlix.com. Well, you guys got to check that. It's hilarious. You will laugh. I promise you're going to love it. And I heard about your next film. You've got this big film. This is kind of a secret because it's not out yet, but it's in production. It's a skater movie, right? Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, it's called Skateboarding. Oh, sorry. Skateboarding with Saddam. And it's an unforgettable summer with skateboarding, love, and missiles. Ooh, it, yeah. missiles and skateboarding, that's interesting. Yeah. How do those go together? Tell me about that. It's a, it's a very, it's a dramatic film, but at the same, sometime we, you know, it takes place during wartime, 1990, 91, Gulf War in Israel, kind of like an American character going and experiencing the Middle East through American eyes. You know, all these conflicts that we always see on the news, you know, all these different religious groups, it kind of gets into all that, um, but kind of in this unbelievable summer of youth and fun, and it's just, it's a really high energy movie. So it's like a view from the skateboarders, from their view, the kids the younger people. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's a unique in that it's told through the viewpoint of young people that are skateboarders, you know, at a very turbulent time. So it kind of reflects what's going on in our world now, you know. Right, and I heard you guys have some big backing with this. You've got some new secret stars that you might be bringing on. Can you give us any insights, any secrets about that? Well, that's top secret. <laughs> <laughs> what about any little snippets? Like who, you mentioned a producer or somebody. Yeah, yeah we, we, this is the first, you know, really big project for us. We have the support of an exec Fast and the Furious and, you know, Hearts of Darkness, which is a very important film. And he worked with Francis Ford Coppola, mentored by him and produced for him for many years. So it's, it feels amazing to have these kind of people behind us. Yeah, Helping you, work, working with you. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Like for example, um, in Fast and the Furious, Doug brought on like professional race car drivers to consult with. Well, on skateboarding with Saddam, we're reaching out to the top, the most famous skateboarders, and bringing them in and consulting with them on our film. So it's very exciting. That's amazing. Yeah. So you guys are doing commercials. So if anybody wants a commercial, these are the guys to like hire. Go to your site, Dolce Films, D-O-L-C-E Films dot com. Check them out. Thanks, guys, so much for coming out. It's Deanna Mess with iVision TV Zip Talk and we are back to you in Tampa at the studio. See ya!